So I'm currently editing the next SCP video. Um, well, this is all part of the same video then at the end. And I realized that I have a new subscriber and it's SCP redacted SCP-999, object class safe. And I do know about that one. I, I've heard about, well, I haven't really heard. I just saw pictures of that one. And I do know it's one of the more cuter SCPs. And I gotta say, I'm very, I'm very flattered that, the, that this guy decided, this person, could be, could be a girl, um, decided to follow me. I'm really flattered by it. And it's also a super cute idea that, that they made a account based on that SCP. I think it's very cute. No, I, thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Fluff. Okay, Wrecking Light. Here we go. Wrecking Light, Wrecking Light, Wrecking Light. Okay. Euclid. It's Euclid. Okay, it's higher rated. Um, 58 points higher rated. Special containment procedures. A one kilometer per perimeter to, is to be maintained around SCP-491 at all times for the purpose of preventing sea vessels access to the effect of S... Is it a, is it a lighthouse? Is it like a lighthouse that makes you... Maybe, maybe, who knows. Um, preventing sea vessel access to the effects of SCP-490 at 1. <laughs> Entrance is to be bared, bared to all personnel with a security clearance below level 2. Any intruders are to be questioned to ascertain the intent, then given class B amnestics and released no less than 20 kilometers from SCP-491. Yeah, like, lighthouse light is... has some reach. I'm not sure if it has 20 kilometers of reach, but you can see it from a good distance. Description, SCP-491 is a lighthouse. It is a lighthouse. Like I, I, before, I just assumed, I was like, I was like it, must, it might be a lighthouse. Because it would not make sense if it was anything else, but now it's confirmed. It's a lighthouse. Built in the early 20th century, located at blank blank Nova Scotia. The ocean floats around SCP-491. One contains numerous wrecked ships, which vary in time of origin, ranging from 1923 to 1987. Damn, I wonder, how, like, it says numerous. Like, I assume it's not it's not enough that uh, that 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 has built up so much that you can actually see the wrecked ships above the water. I assume it's just it's like it, the whole ocean is just covered, you know. Like, also, let's be honest, like. Uh, if you drive towards that, there might be like rock boulders, rocks, or other ships in the way that will make you crash before you even reach the lighthouse. So I can imagine that like it's just a a, a bed, it's just a bed of destroyed ships, which ooh, that's a lot of destruction. I'm surprised it's Euclid because it's it is a lighthouse, and I feel like. Unless you can turn the lights off. I feel like it's, this would be super hard to control. Uh, the area, the area, the area, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Should reminded me of the, <laughs> the vine. Dude, what the fuck? This is your space, this is your area. She can't do that, yeah. You know what? I am a strong, independent <laughs> woman. <laughs> Within the peri perimeter of SCP-491 is a subject to spontaneous change caused by minor I don't know what that means. M W. Oh wait, earthquakes. Is that like is that like the measurement for earthquakes? Well, that doesn't help. Um, I don't know. Uh, earthquakes. The alteration caused to the topography of the seabed are greater than expected for earthquakes of these magnitudes. These earthquakes result in the production of large r rocks or shallows in the path of incoming vessels, in inevitably sinking it. Oh. So it literally, it lures you in and <laughs> the earth itself decides to like <laughs> impale the boat. <laughs> At random intervals, SP491's lamps will activate, producing a green light that rotates at six revolutions per minute. Okay, okay. That's basically, yeah, every ten, uh, every 10 seconds is one round. Uh, any area of the, area area. Of the surrounding sea illuminated by this light will ev evince several ships 
uh, identical to those present on the sea floor. These new ships retain the damage inflicted upon them and begin to take on water at a slower rate than normal their non-anomalous counterparts. This placement of wall ev evidence by testing has shown that the ships are physical in nature. These ships only last for a short period. T, t to say, like, time to, to, um, to, okay. Why is this person writing it like this? You could just wrote, written down, like, around two seconds. Why, why, okay. Due to the rate at which SCP-491 lamb rotates. The okay, the interior of SCP-491 shows no anomalous effects, and it is typical of a lighthouse built in that area. The lamp room of SCP-491 contains a mesoradial Fresno lens lit by a Dallon light. Cutting off electrical power to the lamp has no effect on the activation of SCP-491. All attempts to contain the light produ produced by SCP-491 have failed. The light emitted by SCP-491 is independent of the state to the lamp room. Complete removal of lighting components did not prevent activation. Light emitted by SCP-491 can be influenced by sufficiently reflective surfaces as long so long as the light reaches the sea. See incident log 491-32 uh, for details on attempts to focus SB491 into a continuous loop. Okay. Oh, this is a bit longer than I expected. Um, addendum 1. An interview with the former owner of SB491, Blank Hannah, was discovered in the Nova Scotia archives by Agent Blank, who submitted it in the foundation forward. The following transcript is an accept excerpt from a local news tribute conducted by Tyler Mosoko for Blank Hannah, the former owner of the lighthouse. Commence transcript. Mosoko or Musoko. Today indeed marks a sad day for Blank Blank. Just recently a local hero, Blank Hannah, passed away. A former sailor in Australia, thinking of his ship on a reef, forced him into an early retirement. He moved from town to town, including Cape Elizabeth, before finally finding his home here in the beautiful blank blank Nova Scotia. He will always be remembered for his valiant efforts in manning the lighthouse, saving countless ships, no matter the weather or the hour, from the treacherous seas surrounding him. He gave his life last week, diving into a frigid water to save the crew of the SS Keller endangered by the rocky seas. We will always remember his undying dedication and caring. Farewell, Mr. Hanna. Okay. Mm. So I guess with that, that owner had like a better control of the SCP or like prevented all the crashes. Yeah, I mean, that's what it says, right? Like it prevented so many crashes. He's the owner, but I wonder if um, I, s I wonder if he was uh, the one who created it or the one who just happened to own it at that time period. And then um, two on uh, the twenty fifth of on the third of twenty fifth, a blank foundation uh, personnel sent an un man small ship the ss griever into the affected area a large rock in the path of ss griever immediately burst out of the water tearing a large gash along the side of ss griever seeing it within two minute minutes during the next green light event the ss griever manifests above the area of its wreck wow it's it's basically like seeing like a whole bunch of ghost ships that that um which is what well, it is it's interesting like ghost ships are like basically if i recall lore wise are ships that that of course in the open sea crashed but or like sunk but like the people on it have like enough willpower vengeance or something that will bring the whole crew back with the ship to continue the journey if i and that might be one variation of lore but um i'm pretty sure that's like the one i i'm most familiar with it's just like, yeah, chip crashes, comes back up. <laughs> Sh shouldn't be able to because of the, all the holes in it. But yeah, um, addendum three, audio log. Uh, audio log one, forward. Through the use of several mi mirrors, Foundation personnel were able to keep the light produced by SCP-491 focus on the, at the wreckage of the SS Vancouver. The ship produced by SCP-491 was spoiled by the Foundation personnel. Comment audio log one. Okay, we have multiple agents here. I don't think I'm going to be able to give them all 
I, go, I, I need to think the voice, but here we go with Agent Johnston. I think I'm going to give him my normal voice. Okay, we're on board. There doesn't seem to be anything unusual about the ship. No water damage or warping. I'm no expert, but I'd say it's 30s or 40s. Really large doors. Im immigrant ship. And then the command, I'm going to give um, the command a bit more of a deeper. Uh, records of the SS Vancouver confirm that. Attempt to proceed to the interior of the ship. What is that? The, these doors are jammed shut. I can't budge them. We're going to try to crowbar. Nope, that's not working. Try the jaws of life. At this point, several voices can be heard from within. Only one is discernible above the sound of rushing water. <laughs> Give me that bucket! <laughs> We're inside. The hold, hold, maintain distance. Agents, what is your status? Command, we have the potential biohazard. The hold is occupied by the former crew and passengers. By the appearance of the closing, they're all on, by the appearance of the closing, they're all undergoing various stages of decay, but they don't seem to be aware of it. Some of the crew are trying to repair the damage to the hold. The others are attempting to contain the passengers in the back. Oh, thank God. More help, please. Could you help us plug up these holes? The passengers have seen us. They're trying to push past the crew. One of the passengers command. The broken through. We're pulling back. Gold, move. What are you doing? We have to save this ship. Exp <laughs> I mean, obviously. Oh, it's just, I, thought, I thought that you was like, fuck you. But... You, give me that pump. Get back here. There's no audible dialogue for a span of one minute. However, sounds of struggle are evident. Command, I'm on deck. Agent Gold just... All, all the others drowned out by a screech that lasts for approximately 30 seconds. The screech can be heard without... Transfer trans 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 from, from 491 command. And all radio transmissions were interrupted for the duration of the sound. Along with the screech, a 6.6... Level... Yeah... Level earthquake occurred, dislodging several mirrors focusing the lights, which ceases to illuminate the SS Vancouver radio con um, Vancouver radio contact with Agent Johnson and Gold was lost, and they are presumed dead. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. So even if you try to prevent the light from going all over the place, or even try to like cover it, some some sort of earthquake will happen. That was just. Get rid of whatever is blocking the light. What if you? I get. I assume. If you paint over the. The lens with a thick paint that doesn't allow light going through, I assume that doesn't work either. I assume some sort of like, because I don't think any earthquake could could could, 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 could get rid of that. But I assume like the light will just not allow that to work I like even if normal light can be prevented by having a thick layer of paint around it um I assume this is the sort of light that just like ignores all that just says like fuck you I'm just going <laughs> I keep on shining <laughs> I rather be shiny and then yeah okay I I, I do like that it's a, not only a ghost ship but it, it's a ghost crew, just, uh, just fitting to the, to the whole ghost ship um, theme. And they seem to want to um, fix the ships. And if you are not from the original crew, they will force you, or like at least grab you to participate in the fi in the in clogging up the holes and fixing the ship. But here we have another addendum. Number four, incident report two. Uh, uh, SCP involved, of course, SCP 491. Personal involved, SCP 491 staff, Agent Davis. Date, um, the 24th of March. Um, Nova Scotia. Description following the incident recorded uh, in audio log 491. Foundation personnel were placed on high alert for the next green light event. Several radio devices set to differences, uh, set, blah, 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 so set to different frequencies were all placed around the area in hopes that more information would be transmitted by the lost agents with no results. At 2.32 a.m., the following radio transmission was recorded at 160.3 megahertz. Un unidentified voice. Uh, Scotia, this is SS Vancouver. All ship repairs have been completed. We are now talking to unload passengers and luggage. Wait, what? But, huh? <laughs> A series of mirrors were, was quickly constructed around the light, designed to allow the beam movement across the water. The beams 
operators soon found the wreckage of the SS Vancouver. The manifestation was observed to be mobile, although the, no disturbance in the water was, were noted. The new SS Vancouver was tracked as it slowly approached the dock that had not previously manifested. The ship docked without incident, the crew successfully readying the ship for departure despite the decomposition. Following the crew members was a series of passengers appearing to be of Eastern European origin, experiencing the same level of decay as the crew. Passengers were were seen stopping to talk to the crew members before picking up the luggage. Although the beam produced by the mirror system was not wide enough to capture all of the passengers, a procession could be seen moving along a flat area of ground towards the mainland. Upon leaving the half kilometer radius, illumina illumination by SCP-491 ceased to reveal any passengers. Agent Johnston and Gold were identified amongst the passengers. Both agents were observed to be wearing the excursion gear, including radios, but all attempts to communicate with via radio received no response. Uh, I was about to like, I was about to say like, can he just talk to them? But it looks like they became part of the of the crew. Nor did they respond to visual and audio communication attempts. Agent Davis was instructed to attempt to make physical contact with Agent Gold and Johnson and attempt to retrieve them. Agent Davis made physical contact with Agent Gold at um, uh, 039, coinc coinc coinciding with an earthquake of 7.7 .7 magnitude, which damaged the mirrors and redirected the light. All passengers immediately vanished along with the three agents. Wow, so even if, you, if you're anywhere near where the light shines, Oh, if the light gets like redirected and and if you're anywhere near them and the earthquake happens, you just pfft. further rescue attempts are currently suspended pending review. And I think the earthquake seems to always happen near the end. Maybe that's what it said and I completely just blanked over that. Wow, wow, wow. This is interesting. I these are two strong SCPs to start off with with this session. This is fascinating. I do like the the spin of the ghost ship that instead of just a ghost ship in the middle of the ocean, it's literally a ghost ship being produced by a lighthouse because the lighthouse lured them towards the dock and I and <laughs> and they, it would just create the earth around would just creates literal spikes of rock. Just to just for the ship to slam in. This is again though. I feel like I guess the only way to this, the only way I can see how this could be Euclid is if as long as you prevent people from going near this cliff, you're safe. Like you can try to like exp like explain people like yeah, there's like dangerous uh, rocky area around there, so go around like and don't. Don't check. Don't look for a lighthouse. But that's Im that's impossible to ask from every single ship, and captains, um, like boats, ships, uh, yachts, um, and so on to like do that because there's gonna be occasionally somebody who's gonna <laughs> just be an idiot or not know about this and just go head on into this into this situation, you know. Wow. Okay. What? Okay, guys. Write in the comment section what you guys think about this one. Um, I per I personally think this is um. I I really like the spin of making of of how it creates ghost ships. And I do like the, I do like that it not only does it lure you towards something, it also creates a so-called trap for you. With Earth, with nature itself, like that's. That's pretty baller. Like that's pretty hardcore if you think about it. But um, I think the one thing that make that I uh, makes it a bit less interesting for me than compared to the ice cream one is that the, the, there seems to be so many different factors. You know, there's the light that makes you crash into into Earth that it just produces. There's an earthquake. There's uh, there's ghost ships that uh, somehow can fix their ship while every time an in one of these intervals happen, and then they dock somewhere that do on a dock that doesn't even exist. Like it, it, there's so much. Like the ice cream one, it's simple. Like you hear the sound, you get loaded, in you go loaded to the ice cream truck, you walk into the back, closes after a couple of hours, you're gone, <laughs> and you become ice cream. There's no other. Qu there's no. Other, I mean. 
of course, there's a difference between like your imagination can fill in the blanks of what happens in the ice cream truck. But in here, I have no idea what happens if they do dock. Does that mean now they are the next interval you see them on a the dock and they just walk onto onto the onto the main land and if that's so, does that mean every interval you see them like walking further and further and further into mainland until there's no more light for them to be caught in and that's when that's where they stop? And if that's so, do these people who died know that they cannot go further once they reach the end, or do they do they just vanish completely? Like oh, like there's so many questions. You see, there's so many questions that that doesn't really allow it, it doesn't give you the fill in the blanks yourself kind of deal as in like the ice cream one with the ice cream one you can you can imagine like oh either like they just they just get torn apart and then thrown and then made more than the ice cream or they just literally get transported into a different dimension then become ice cream get, get brought back you can you can have your own horror story with it but with this one the end part you just like it's an open ending, which is a bit harder than an open, um, an open in betweener, you know. Like with some, with some things, um, with something it's uh, show don't tell, which is what the ice cream is. You don't have to tell anything. You can and you can just imagine it yourself. But with this one, it's definitely tell don't show. That doesn't really make sense. But uh, <laughs> this one is like you want you want an answer. For what happens to the people who actually dock on the mainland and also uh, maybe a bit more about like the agents like you know like do they just act like they're just part of the, of the original crew or do they just not say anything like yeah there's a lot of questions so, but in the meantime yeah why you guys write down what you guys think about this one